Hi guys, in 898 in Madison Square Garden, Tesla demonstrated his automaton, which it was a remote controlled boat project. It was controlled by a single tuned circuit inside the ship that caused it to change its direction. The signal was transmitted from a single special tuned oscillator at the edge of the big water tank. As long as he stayed in Colorado Springs from 899 until 900, Tesla used a modified Tesla coil to create stationary waves of electricity that would transfer electric electrical energy far away. He lighted in an experiment 200 filament lamps plants in the ground in the winter time. All right, this is the principle of wireless transmission of, of energy according to Nikola Tesla. This is the transmitter and this is the ground. The ground, the oscillator, the primary coil, the same as the recycler, and the secondary. Uh, the secondary coil has to be one quarter of the wavelength of the frequency, the same as in the recycler. Right here is a device I made for you to demonstrate the wireless uh, transmission of electricity uh, using a 9 volt battery as a power supply and not high voltage as uh, usual. This is the transmitter and this is the First of all, I want to tell you that the experiment I'm going to present you, I took it from this book here. Experiments on Tesla's wireless transmission of energy, right here. And I modified the oscillator a little bit, just to demonstrate the results better. Right here is the circuit diagram. So, right here is the oscillator circuit and the Tesla coil. As you see, it's not like uh, in his experiments. It's about high, uh, high frequency of uh, 14 megahertz, and uh, the coils are very small. The same as here in the receiver. For a ground, I'm going to use a simple wire, and the antennas are Nikola Tesla style fielded. Mm -hmm. Now the battery is connected to the circuit. Uh, how can uh, I tune this circuit uh, very easily? I'm starting with this capacitor until the LED you are seeing here lights uh, very good. And then I'm trying the same thing with this one. Now the, the output is already tuned. At the receiver coil, just this capacitor. And that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm transferring energy. All right. Mm -hmm. This is the signal. 16.46 megahertz. Right here is the probe from the oscilloscope. Now I, I switch off the lights to show you that if the resonance between the coils of the transmitter and the driver is being interrupted for a reason, then the power, the electrical, the electrical power that was sent from the transmitter to the recycle coil is going back to the transmitter. Just think about it. One moment. Now I distune the circuit, the recycle, and look how it acts. I cannot see it very well. One moment. Ah, now I can see it. You see? Now, just a moment.
Now it's tuned. Now it is not. It is tuned. And it is not. The power returns here in the transmitter. Very nice. See it again. No tuning. Tuned. Just check, uh, check the transmitter. Not. And in resonance. I have the power in the receiver. And back to the transmitter. Back to the transmitter. In this experiment, I'm going to modulate the transmitted signal here with music from this uh, small MP3 player. And I'm going to connect a small speaker here at the receiver part through a germanium diode right here for the signal and see what is going to be happened. I'm using a small, uh, a, a small audio amplifier with power lower than one watt. You can use if you like any circuit you like, but I'm going to give you this diagram if you want to build the same. And uh, see what is going to be happen. All right. Receiver. I don't know if you can hear it well, but I can hear it... Uh, the music uh, very well without uh, an amplification directly from the receiver coil through the primary give germanium diode and speaker that means that we can send uh, electrical electrical power and uh, informations music whatever the same time Here we are again, we have to do here with standing waves, so I put another cable here, long one, 15 meters about, uh, to see how the transmitter acts for far away. This is the antenna, transmitter and ground. As I said before, 15 meters or together. Right here. Right here. I'm in another room now. Completely different. This is the river. Mm -hmm. It's about 15 meters far away from the transmitter. If I disconnect the ground, nothing. Again, the same thing with the antenna. It works very, very well. Now in this part of the experiment, the transmitter is on and I have already connected the ground of the transmitter with the ground of the house. Right here is the connection. One, just a moment. Right there. Now. Just a moment, yeah. This is the receiver here. With a wire as a ground, with the same size as the antenna. And look how it happens. Just by approaching, there is energy transfer. Yeah. No connection at all. Further away, as just the cable here, the antenna, no, nothing more. And as I said, by approaching, you see it?
that's it okay this is the last one the transmitter is on I have connected already the ground to get with the ground of the house right there and I am receiving here this is the driver antenna and ground just see it if I disconnect the ground nothing it happens uh, of course if uh, the line comes directly to the, the point that's it some words about the circuit diagram it's about a mod modified Hartley oscillator and the construction is very easy I built it in the air for a successful demonstration the most of the components required here can be produced from the, your junk box the tank, the tank circuit here consists of a variable capacitor 10 to 300 picofarad or another uh, one the same time doesn't matter uh, and the coil which has been made of 20 turns of uh, 0.5 mm enameled uh, uh, copper wire on a big pen this is the big pen and 6 turn extra coil to the ground the top between goes to the emitter of the transistor the power transistor the tesla coils five turns of one millimeter isolated wire like this one uh, and uh, 10 turns this one of the same wire on an AA battery this one the first coil the five turns located in the middle of the, the other coil the 10 turns the same as the receiver I connect the LED here at the ends of this coil through a 2 kilo ohm resistor to demonstrate to demonstrate that the energy which returns to the, uh, the transmitter if the resonance of the receiving circuit doesn't exist anymore as uh, Nikola Tesla claimed, we can transfer energy and information at the same time. So, I connect here a germanium diode, very common one, 1N60P, one uh, with a LED, of course, which drives the, the signal directly, from, directly to the speaker, where we can hear the modulated signal, also the music.